What is mycosis fungoides? It is the most common form of a type of blood cancer called cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. These lymphomas occur when certain white blood cells, called T-cells, become cancerous. It characteristically affects the skin, causing different types of skin lesions. Axial contrast-enhanced CT shows irregular subcutaneous nodules and skin thickening along the anterior abdominal wall. These findings were clinically apparent as purple plaques and ulcerated masses. It is more common in males and African Americans in the United States. It is rare in Asian countries, and it accounts for approximately 5% of non-Hodgkin lymphoma in Europe. Clinical presentation, again, is with skin lesions. Common history is many years of eczematous or dermatitis skin lesions before the final diagnosis is made. These lesions may progress from patchy to plaque and later to cutaneous tumors. The image on the left of a middle-aged female shows a cutaneous erythematous plaque denoted by the solid arrows and a cutaneous tumor denoted by the open arrows. This is the typical gross morphology of mycosis fungoides. This condition is typically indolent initially, but later stages can cause extensive lymphadenopathy and progress to widespread extracutaneous visceral organ involvement. Examples of extracutaneous involvement include pulmonary and central nervous system. This histological image shows a skin biopsy specimen with prominent epidermotropism of lymphocytes shown by the arrows. Observe the lack of striking nuclear atypia of the intraepidermal lymphocytes. On imaging, pay particular attention to skin thickening or cutaneous lesions. This axial CT shows a large tumor denoted by the open arrows in the interior abdominal wall. This tumor involves the skin and subcutaneous fat. Note the small air bubble suggestive of an ulcer shown by the solid arrow. Corresponding photograph shows the ulcerated cutaneous tumor. This reflects a more atypical gross morphology of the condition. In a separate case, here is a sagittal contrast enhanced MRI demonstrating another mass on the medial side of the plantar surface of the foot. This turned out to be another site of mycosis mongoides. And in this other case of orbital involvement, this is a middle-aged female with a large tumor involving the right upper eyelid. This mass has low signal intensity involving the skin and subcutaneous tissues. T1-weighted imaging shows intermediate signal intensity. And contrast-enhanced imaging shows diffuse marked enhancement. A different case with PET-CT shows multiple skin lesions that are metabolically active. In a patient with this clinical history, be sure to pay attention to the skin lesions. Prognosis depends on the extent and stage of disease. Extracutaneous involvement decreases survival. Treatment consists of radiation therapy, topical glucosteroids, phototherapy, ultraviolet treatment, electron beam radiation, interferon, and systemic cytotoxic therapy. Most of these treatments tend to be palliative, unfortunately. Now you know everything about mycosis fungoides. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.